All right, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Anyone watching the FanFest stuff, when's the new, uh, the Coaster Rebel part? Mostly just curious, not actually gonna stop and watch it. I'm just really, I'm really enjoying Nier right now, so I'm not gonna stop playing this for much of anything, TVH. <laughs> Faster if you just take a look at this recording. Bad I see. Information about this A2 android is indeed contained within our archives. We all understand her to be rather dangerous. Talking like 15 minutes, gotcha. Person. My apologies. That's all the information I have. I see. All right, thanks. Let's stay sharp and head back to the resistance camp. We should run a check on our consciousness data and resupply. Do I have anything I can turn into you? Okay, so I, I give him stuff, he gives me money. Like I said, I'll rewatch it later. The, uh, like the actual reveals and launches and stuff, but I'm not super. Like I said, stuff like the Game Awards always put like a, a s having watched that a couple of years now, put just like that slightly bad taste in my mouth of like, this is way too long, why is this not shorter? I know FanFest is different, but like, I never super liked watching stuff like that in the first place and then having the bad taste put in my mouth from stuff like Game Awards that just stretched itself overly long, I just... I've stopped caring as much about like online presentations for stuff. I'm sure 14 does this very well. People seem to really enjoy it, but idea stands. 9S, why did you ask Pascal about A2? Huh? It's not recommended to interface with machines without consulting command. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Though I suppose such intense curiosity can be admirable in its own way. <laughs> Thanks. To oh. Still, machines are the enemy. Don't forget it. Oop. Operator 210 to 9S. This is your regularly scheduled contact. Yeah, yeah. No problems here. Copy that. I also need to inform you that the commander offers her personal praise for your recent Ooh. achievements. As a direct result, we are currently considering boosting production of your model. Really? Ooh. I'm happy to hear it. Excited. Couldn't have done it without your support, Operator. You're always so cool under fire, not to mention beautiful and... Flattery is unnecessary. Operator 210, out. I really <laughs> meant it, though. <laughs> Poor Ninas. He's trying to be nice, and he just gets crapped on. Server capacity. I wonder if they'll come into play in a... Uh, Later in the playthrough or in another playthrough or something. We'll see. We will see. That's going to have that spicy save. Oh, 2B. Your timing is impeccable. Our android forces currently have a carrier deployed in the Pacific oh, Ocean. Time for this mission. It should be back here to resupply before too long. The resistance is assisting with the mission, so I'd like to ask you to run a little guard duty. Oh, I get to play this from the point of view of 9S, though, so There's it'll be different. There's a pile of missiles down at the shoreline that needs to be loaded on the carrier. And with all the machine activity lately, we need to stay on our toes. Of course, if you're already working on something for Yorha, I don't mind if that takes priority. Anyway, thanks in advance. Missile supply mission. Like I said, this will be interesting to do from 9S. I feel like, I feel like it'll be a lot more hacking than just like raw combat. Oh, let's go check out Emil's item shop. I haven't checked him out in a bit. In literally like this entire playthrough. I guess I didn't have him unlocked until now, so. Uh, let's get started at the desert camp because I think he spawns over there.
Hello, Moose. Let's go see if we can stop Emil from spinning in circles here. I can just make him flip. Yep. Oh, he sells weapon attack up plus threes. That makes my life so much easier. Oh my goodness, that makes my life so much easier. Hang on. Uh. He's talking about his home again, which he's mentioned before, but now I've actually been there, so... Alright, so he's selling plus threes, which makes my life easier. Oh, this is equipped. Um, oh no, no it's not. <sighs> okay, so two threes make a four, and then four and four makes five... And a five and a five will make a single six. Crap, how do I do math, chat? Don't do math. Don't do math on stream. Alright, so if I get two, I can get a single six, right? Then I think I need another eight to make another. So let's buy 10 and see if we can get it. Welcome. Oh, was I looking to sell stuff? Wait, what? Or does he just sell random crap? Does he sell something different each time I talk to him? Welcome. I'm so confused. He was selling plus threes a minute ago. This is definitely my, like, sell list here, huh? It's all the machine cores, why not? Does he, like, sell stuff based on different things? Let me, let me, I'm, I'm looking a meal up, this is confusing. Vendor. Neither. Oh, okay, so it, like... Okay, so it he, his shop is, like, partially randomized. Okay, I... Thanks, and the first time you talk to him, he sells one thing, and then the next time he would sell the other. So I just need to talk to him again at some point, and then I could... I should have just bought those while I was looking at it and just said, screw it, but that's my B. But it's kind of a whatever. It's not the end of the world to not have a completely capped out weapon damage right now when I was just absolutely slapping the crap out of stuff before anyways. Right, let's fast travel to the Ruin Center. City Ruin Center. Listen, occasionally with stuff like that, I'll look it up, like, real quick and just be like, uh, was that a bug? Did I break him? Or was that intentional? Because with stuff like that, I often worry that, like, oh, I broke it. Because he just, like, randomly changed what he was selling, like, while I was looking at his inventory, basically. <laughs> yeah, apparently he's got random spawns, random loot, and you just kind of got to wing it with him. Whenever he's selling the plus three chips, you should just buy them. Why are some machines so aggressive, while others couldn't care less about us? Why are some machines so aggressive, and while others couldn't care less? You know, that's a great question, 9S. Oh, 
Oui I walked because I wasn't sure what would happen if I fast traveled. Because that's not where the marker was. Ah! Why must we read all these books, brother? Knowledge expands horizons and enriches existence. But can't we just transfer all this data over instantly? Into your head, perhaps, but not to your heart. Okay. I guess. Hmm. Hey, so... Yes? My name? Eve? This book says it's a woman's name. Shouldn't we be called Cain and Abel or something instead? Humans wouldn't change names so easily. Besides, you should be proud of the name Eve. Huh. Well, if that's what you think, then I'm fine with it. Glad to hear it. Um... Is there something else? After we're done reading, can we go out and play? I'm sure it'll be tons of fun. All right, but only after we're finished. You mean it? Then I'm gonna try extra hard to finish this. Extra, extra hard! You do that. Interesting. As it keeps going on and on, it becomes less and less of a brotherly relationship and more of a, like, father-child relationship, you know? Really interesting. Alright, let's go support the mission. I do so much damage the now. Here was bombed out in the last war. Looks like the whole city is starting to sink as a result. this guy if I can. They're super annoying. There you go. Noise! First try. Target missile sighted. Is that what we need to protect? Let's take him out already so I can be home in time for dinner and a bath. Androids don't need to bathe. As long as you perform regular cleaning and maintenance, bathing is unnecessary. Yeah, but come on, 2B. It still feels good. Confirmed. 9S likes taking baths. I wonder if there's different types of hacking. Like, if it always blows them up, or if there's, like, an option to... So I think some of them were- some of the mods were talking about, like, stunning stuff. And I think it was, like, control duration, and maybe there's a way to do other stuff, but I don't- I don't know how to, like, just, like, default do that. Maybe I have to have the mods installed. I'm sorry, the chips. I think that's the last of the machines. 2B, 9S, come in. Commander? Emergency orders incoming. The carrier ship that was set to resupply has come under attack. Yes. It's currently being engaged by a swarm of machines. I've asked all Yorha troops in the city ruins for assistance, and I'll need you to provide backup as well. I'm sending flight units and coordinates now. Good luck. Out. You see? Total slave driver. Whoopsh. If she didn't order others around, what kind of leader would she be? Hmm. If you say so. 
I mean, it's not wrong. But neither is she. Oh, interesting, they're level 47 now. I don't know if they scaled them up or what. I'd assume they either scaled them up or just this is the level they're supposed to be. I'd guess scaled up, because those enemies in the last area were 40. But who knows? I could be completely wrong. I've been wrong about stuff like this before. Oh, goodness. Lasers. Oh, good lord. <gasps> Level up! Ow! I didn't want to run into that. <laughs> Health on kill mods are really dumb when they're percentage based. Especially in a game like this where ads can be like mowed through on occasion. They're really silly. Oh lordy me. Alright, try not to get hit, try not to get hit, try not to get hit. To to be, what did I just say? backing you up. What do you mean you need backup? Do you not see the two extra flight suits just murking through stuff? Also, I think I leveled up in here and the enemies immediately went up a level, so I'm going to guess that this mission is scaled. I mean, logically that makes sense. The flight suits are pretty powerful. I don't think that your stats have any bearing on how strong they are. Could be wrong, though. Minutia like that is not something I have a lot of experience with. Inbound. Looks to be 2.8 clicks southwest of us. This thing's getting roasted for being, uh, well, level 40. Can I, can I hack you? I don't think so. Oh, it's dead. Enemy aerial unit destroyed. Reverting back to area recon- Wait, I'm still picking up a large enemy presence. Didn't I kill that already? What on? If it's that big, we should be able to Didn't see I it. Didn't I kill that already? And it eats the ship. Well, that's new. <laughs> Show the full trailer? Nice. Nah, I still have to go back and watch that. Is that a machine? It's freaking huge. I probably do the uh, the skim watch through. Every time something catches my eye, I'll I'll go back to the start of that segment. <laughs> the rest of the time is kind of be jumping forwards, ten seconds at a time. Crap! It's blocking close range attacks with EMP blasts. We've got to find another way to damage it. 
Operator 210 to 9S. Yeah. Command has decided to stage a direct satellite laser strike on the hostile. We need you to destroy the enemy EMP generator so we can lock onto the target. EMP generator? Sending the coordinates to your map now. EMP generator target confirmed. Marking on map. Noise. Proposal. Destroy the generator quickly. Counter proposal. Shut up. I know. I'm not gonna lie, I'm just kind of spinning back and forth for fun while I wait. As cool as it is playing through the main story the second time as 9S, so that stuff is slightly different. Sections like this where everything is like exactly the same are a little weird. The only known record of this machine life form is a lone sighting 320 years ago. Upon reaching I much prefer it when you get forced into doing stuff differently. All resistance fighters in the vicinity were annihilated. So basically, if this thing reaches land, we're screwed. Affirmative. To be fair, though, there is mention of me hacking the machine later on, or sorry, 9S hacking the machine later on, so that could be a thing where it differentiates. I really loved what they did, where, like, even though you were, like, doing the exact same fights, technically speaking, on previous sections, they kept throwing in, like, cu extra cutscenes and stuff like that. Just kind of showing off and things being different. Though I do suppose that that could be a very big thing that's about to happen in this one, too. They could be showing off a- oh goodness, I am eating crap. They could be about to show off a bunch of extra cutscenes too. Oh! It's trying to tell me that I can't hack it, unfortunate. At least this set can't be hacked. There's like the no hacking button on it. Wait, come back! Come back, let me kill you! I wonder if I'll be able to hack this stuff later. Logically, that makes sense. Oh, goodness. Hey, I need to move. I feel like they wouldn't put that symbol there if they didn't want you to know. <gasps> you might hack later. Confirmed elimination of electromagnetic interference. Stand by for incoming satellite laser strike. Pew, pew, pew. Well, that didn't do much. Oh, come on! It's got an electromagnetic barrier over its whole body? <laughs> Having trouble over there? Are you Yorha? Oh, look, it's the people who are gonna die. Hunter Squadron deploying out of North 12C Defense HQ. I'm the commanding officer, 4B. Don't worry, we'll take it from here. Okay, have fun. 2B, let's leave this area to the reinforcements. I have an idea. You and I should meet up at the spot I just marked. We've got mortars lining the shoreline here. All the EMP shielding in the world won't help against close range mortar fire. That is true. I'll help aim. <gasps> ah. <sighs> this thing's armor is too thick. We need more firepower. To be. Let's try for a more direct, direct approach. approach. <laughs> direct. Oh right. That's right. Lay down some fire in its stupid mouth. This also makes sense. I was like, I didn't really have much control over it as I was shooting it earlier, so... Nailed it. They also sped that up. It was like four shots the first time. Obviously on purpose, mind you, but still cool. And fall out of the sky. We got a bail, 2B. 
This is bad. Panic! Also, hi, Pascal. Stuff's about to get different, I think. Out how to stop it. We eventually marooned it deep in the ocean, but it seems to be searching for a way back. Huh. Hey, 2B, I think I have another idea. You keep that thing right where it is, okay? What? Please, 2B, this is gonna work. There it is. Now I finally get to do the different stuff. I was wondering. I was like, it happens soon, right? Here we go. Go off on my own adventure. Two B, I'm going to see if we can use those missiles back on the shore. But I need you to destroy the EMP unit on that thing's back. Otherwise, they're just going to go off course. On. Ah, my face. Oh goodness, that's a lot of bullets. That's a lot of bullets. Nailed it. This is why 9S took so long. They had to fight a billion enemies on the way there. I see, I see, I have gained the critical. Wait, can I? I say that's a thing I can do, right? Yeah, I forgot that I had the left bumper ability, not gonna lie. It's been so long since I've had to use one of these. I forgot I had a skill. I should use that more often whenever stuff just like massively piles up on the screen. Or when this guy shows up, because he's annoying as crap. Can I hack him? I can. Nice. God, I love their low res versions of the music as it plays out. It's so cool. So cool. Activate missile controls. Prepare to launch. Missile controls engaged. Launch ability confirmed. Bog. Fight. That's a big missile. Am I riding the missile? Oh. Obstacle ahead. A collision at this speed is not recommended. Well aware, thank you. I literally had to drive it. That's awesome. That also explains a lot about what happened to 9S. Uh. Is, is signal lost. Organize a search and rescue party for the missing Yorha members at once. To be minus. Don't die on me. The child held sway over enormous strength. Oh goodness. What's this? Sadly, he was also a little bit broken. He spent his long days hurting those around him. He tried his best to be good and 
kind. But despite his efforts, things never seemed to turn out. This? They told him he was unwanted. What is this in reference they to? They abandoned him in the deep, dark oh. ocean. Oh, this is about the machine. And from the cold at the bottom of the sea, he cried out, Mother! 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 Well, that's sad. Mother. But his voice never reached his mother. Well, that's really sad. Damn. You're gonna love this. Ah, uh, did they do the new melee job reveal? Is it the scythe class that everyone assumed? I hope it is, because it's a cool idea. Oh, this is new too. This is tactical support unit, pod 042, assigned to 2B. This is tactical support unit, pod 153, assigned to 9S. We pods often participate in the same battles. Exchanging our situational data would theoretically allow us to plan combat strategies in a more efficient manner. Proposal. Data should be transferred regularly between pod Have 042 we've already done and pod 153. Have we already done this? Analysis. This idea is already sound. done this. Why is this Proposal happening again? Accepted. This is weird. Records will be organized in time for the next situational exchange. I think I should watch for myself. I'm sure it's awesome. Oh goodness, what is this? <laughs> I mean, I'll watch it in like an hour and a half, from, an hour from now, hour and a half from now, so. It won't be that long. I can wait. I'm still like 98% sure it is the Scythe Melee class. Still excited to watch them. Find myself in a bizarre memory storage area stretching as far as I can see. It's a maze, a labyrinth, a massive interconnected network. I've never seen anything like this. It must have been created by the machines. So then, what what am I doing here? I am 9S, that's all I can remember. Large portions of my memory may have been destroyed. What, what if I forget everything? My memories, myself, my... Okay, calm down, calm down. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Just follow the emergency manual and execute the memory recovery program. The recovery program begins to fill in the blanks in my memory. They drift back like missing letters filling out a word. The bunker, Tubi's plan, a colossal machine life form, the last resort missile strike. Preservation mode was activated at the moment of the blast. It halted most of the safeties the network had in place. Wait, it must have been that EMP blast! We're coming up to the machine network too somehow. Uh-oh. That explains a lot. Took a while. The recovery program managed to restore most of my memory functions. However, I still can't establish a link to my body. Oh, I guess there's nothing else to do but examine my surrounding memory space. Looks like the machines gathered and stored a lot of info in here. It seems pretty random at first, but on closer inspection, I learn it's all connected. There are a variety of entries, such as data on human history and philosophy, but what's really strange. The records of machines stored next to those. Politics category are records of machines' own governmental endeavors. They tried all sorts of things, absolute monarchies, republics, democracies, and that wasn't all. They also engaged in other scholarly pursuits such as philosophy, mathematics, science, social criticism. It's like the network was copying every possible human behavior and discipline, almost as if... Machines are imitating humans? Why would they do that?
dive deeper into the records. I can find no indication of the machines creating new cultures or values. They only imitate human behavior. The strange thing is, if a unit fails, it feels the exact same way the next time. For example, if a machine forms a dictatorship that eventually collapses, it won't try a new type of government. It just forms a new dictatorship. Or if it plants crops and they die, it just tries the same thing again, and 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 again. They keep performing the same behaviors. They don't ever learn. When it comes to combat, the machines show overwhelming adaptive behavior and evolutionary speed, so why do they insist on imitating humanity? More specifically, why do they imitate their own failures? It's almost as if, as if the objective is failure itself. Since a change in the data, some kind of movement, I hope my perception and my... I hold my perception and hold my breath. I... Something. Distance. Voice. I am now all androids. Something there. Something clearly intelligent. What the heck was that? Are they talking? I announce to all androids. The words shimmer into focus. The voice grows clear in my mind. It is Adam, a machine made in the image of a man. We machine life forms have evolved, he says. We made war, learned, grew, and thus we gained a new consciousness. Indeed, it is as if a new form of existence has been bored. Lies! Nothing but lies from your machines. Adam laughs. And yet you androids claim to be alive. How very odd. You are puppets who lack even your own free will. No, you're wrong. His words flew through me as though they were poured in my ear. How am I wrong, boy? I'm... We're... Perhaps you have a will after all, he chuckles. Perhaps you have desires. Now you see, boy, the true meaning of life is hatred. You're wrong. A vile hatred slumbers in the depths of your heart. You're wrong. The more you try to hide it, the more that darkness grows. Wrong. 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 This is absolutely intense as crap. Damn it. You were made to protect mankind. Not the same as you machines. You're being text on a screen, at least. This is insanely intense. All who live are slaves to desire. Such internal appetites who would give life meaning. Some seek beauty or the serenity. For me, hatred is the I'm not like that. <laughs> oh, yes, you are. You do not trust anything. You want to destroy everything. You have lost hope in everything. You want to obtain everything. You want to be loved by all. Thinking about how much you want... <laughs> Thinking about how much you want to... Bang to be, aren't you? Reality stained by lies. Stop. Stop it. Hatred pouring into you. You're wrong, damn it. Overflowing desire. I'm not like you. Your true self. We're not the same. Stop it, stop it. It's not my fault, okay? Damn it, I, I... Stop it! Stop it! Being text on a screen, that was insanely intense. Holy cow. Help me. I think all the context around what's happening really sells it, though. Each of the machines treated their treasures with great care. One treasured family above all else. Another treasured its older sibling. Another treasured its own beauty. But one more machine treasured something unique above all else. Hate. 
Oh, so you just skip out on everything and then you just go straight to 2B killing Adam. Oh goodness, you skip out on a lot, huh? Holding 2B discovering the city. I guess it makes sense, my ass wasn't there. Goodness. This is where stuff's really getting different. Self hack? Engage memory core diagnostics. Yeah, yeah. A single reply is sufficient for acknowledgement. Fine. So I'm repairing myself. Memory core diagnostics complete. No issues detected. Good. Proposal. Engage visual sensor diagnostics. You got it. Interesting. Visual sensor diagnostics complete. No issues detected. All checks complete. <sighs> Took long enough. Don't you think it's overkill to perform a full data overhaul? Unit 9S was seized by the enemy and placed in a non-controlled state for an extended period of time. There is a high probability of corruption by an enemy logic virus. All right, all right. Cram it. Anyway, I just got to sync up with the bunker server and then I'm out of here, right? Interesting. Huh? What was that? Unknown. Halt the data sync. Alert. Data synchronization is mandatory for all oh. high units. Yeah, I know that, but we just got some kind of weird noise. Halt the data sync for 2B as well. Affirmative. Oh. Let's figure out where that noise came from. Just to be sure, you know? Open a port to the server. Interesting. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness gracious. Hmm. No time to examine everything. Better stick to the main data nodes. <laughs> hmm. Detected. Yorha unit storage records. Yorha body storage records. 1S, 2B, 8H, 24S, 9S, 12D, 11B, 12H, 11B, 12H, all lost. No on 1S, yes on 2B, yes on 8H, no, yes on 24S, but no on 9S. What's the point of all this heavy security? Weird. All the black box data has been deleted, but it looks Weird. like everything else is here. Except there was an N next to 9S, but are you not concerned about that? No? Okay. Weird. Detected. 
Access log to Council of Humanity's lunar server. Um. September 24th shipped, September 25th delivery scheduled. Unit 010, empty, 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 purified water, empty, empty, repair minerals, empty, empty, over. That doesn't seem like a lot. What's a barrier doing here? Hmm. Looks like records for supplies shipped to the moon. That wasn't very much Strange. shipped to the moon. There were a ton of empty containers. Yeah. That's weird. Why would they do that? Huh? A new port just opened. I bet we might be finding out more about the humans, chat. Just got a feeling. Detected. Council of Humanity and Project Yorha Records Index. Alert. We are not authorized to access this data. Man, this stuff is all wrong. I need to check this out, too. Oh, we're not authorized. It's never stopped 9S before, right? Oh, it's defended. Not very well, but it's defended. An attack barrier? Really? Why the heck would they install one of those in this server? Hmm. Note that these documents are level S confidential or not to be disclosed to any person affiliated with Yorha aside from the commander. Your Project Yorha Outline, Yorha Forces, Yorha Combat System, Bunker Administration, Chain of Command, Council of Humanity Development Department, Backdoor Support Units, Black Box, Distance Communications Network. Mission is to be received from the designated parties responsible for each entry prior to viewing. Let's see. Looks like info about how the Council of Humanity was formed as part of Project Yorha. Wait, isn't that backwards? Isn't that backwards, chat? Close the server connection and activate my body. Affirmative. My body, my, my brain hasn't been backed up yet, though. We didn't do that. Ah, 9S. Operator? What happened? We recently detected large numbers of machine life forms throughout the factory area. We received a support request from 2B soon thereafter, but have been unable to respond due to poor reception. All right. I'll try to gain access from the main terminal. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Use of server administration room requested. Interesting, interesting. Request granted. You may now use the device in this room. Huh? Oh, it's this. Okay, good. 2B's black box signal is still up and running. These comms are all messed up. Guess I'll have to break into the other side and take control. Weird. What on earth? Um... Oh, I guess I'm this guy nice. now. Now I just have to unlock the door where 2B is. Um. Okay. What a 
machine looks a lot tougher this one. I should hack it and take control of it while it's not suspecting anything. That was fast. Ah, now I can... Now I can remote control. Okay, so right bump, right trigger is only a backwards jump. If I want to jump forward, I just gotta jump, I'm guessing. Really interesting. Moving nine S, keep it moving. To stay in health. Look at all these broken machines. A few still look usable. Better send these coordinates to the bunker, just in case. This is so weird playing through this section as 9 house. Although, because it's this section, I have a feeling that says we're getting really close to another ending. Like the actual ending of ending B. Everyone shall die. Everyone shall die and become as gods. I wish we had become as gods playing. I would kill for that right now. That, that, that track was a banger. Become as gods. I assume that if I die, I send myself back to those. We gods again? Well, 9S is currently being a robot, so... Kinda? Alright, it looks like I literally cannot go that way. That's unfortunate. Like, I literally cannot walk fast enough. Like, I have to bunny hop it, it seems? I don't think this is the way I'm supposed to be going, though. Looks like the thing's telling me to go the other way, and the way that the uh, 